Hello YouTube, um, I am making this video to show everyone um, that is watching it how to um, boost their performance for the computer. Uh, mainly, the main use is for like online gaming and stuff that you, you really depend on not lagging for the best gameplay. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Um, I'm gonna take the first step here. Uh, for, uh, see how I have the Windows Arrow Vista um, right now. It's all flashy and it looks really good. But the one thing that it's bad for is that it makes the computer lag because it uh, has so much. It takes up so much of your space, and that's not good. So the first thing you should do is go to computer right click on it, go to properties advanced system settings um, on the advanced tab go to performance settings and you should be either on uh, let windows choose what's best for my computer or adjust for best appearance either of these two are what normal people like normally you'd have on there but um don't pick any of these two, pick adjust for best performance if you want the best performance out of your computer and press apply. Now I'll take a little bit here um, once that's done it will look totally different uh, it's like a classic kind of look it looks bad I know but um, it's good for your performance because it, it doesn't have to take up so much space It, it basically emphasizes the performance and takes away from the appearance of the computer. Next thing I want you to sh uh, show you is a program called CCleaner. I will have the link to it in the description of the video. And what you what this does is um, cleans out your your computer of unnecessary files and takes like takes out the um, like all this stuff it, it has listed right here um, so once you download this you press run cleaner okay and it took a it took out a good 13.1 megabytes that I didn't need but um if it's your first time doing this it would take out a lot more and it will help you phenomenally with your gameplay um, next thing you can do is go to registry and uh, scan for issues and first time I did this I had a lot of issues but this time I only have two um, I don't know what these issues mean but I know it, it has to be bad for a computer obviously so fix uh, no fix all selected issues press ok and the issues are fixed um, if you if you're one of those people who don't like downloading stuff that people told you to that's okay because there's a different way you can do all this but it just takes a little bit longer what you can do is go to start all programs accessories and um, system tools and disk clean up you go to my files only you uh, I have mine for Windows D most people have it for C but um, just pick whatever hard drive uh, you have most stuff on basically, and one's deep, so I press that. Okay. Um, I'll wait for this for a little bit. It'll take a while. Um, see, it only took out a little bit because I've done this many times. Press OK. Delete files. It'll take a little bit to do this. Um, another thing you can do is go to Start Control Panel. Uh, make sure you're in classic view, go to your power options and put it on uh, high performance. Um, and you might have it on balance or power saver. These aren't really good unless you have um, a laptop and you go a lot of places with it. And um, so basically, just put it on high performance and you're done. Uh, if you have hibernation on, please take that off because it will take a lot of space from your computer. Um, I don't know necessarily.
necessarily which like where hibernation you can where you can delete that but if you have that on just try to take it off um, another thing you have to do um, a lot is defrag your defrag it defrag your computer go to accessories system tools and it's right under disk cleanup it's called disk defragmenter um, and you defrag it and it will take uh, it will take very long to do if it's your first time um, I recommend you do it uh, every month and if you're on the computer a lot during the day I recommend you do it like every two weeks um, it does take a, a while to do um, so you should do it like before you go to bed or, or something like that or, or you're going somewhere for a, for a while just defrag it uh, and um, and it just takes all of the little bits and pieces of stuff in your hard drive and combines it to one to save space that's the best thing uh, another thing you can do is go to personalize display settings and advanced settings monitor and yours might be at 60 hertz right now um, that's basically what everyone has but you can take it up to however many hertz is the highest you have um, so I'll put it at 75 hertz I don't really know what it does like it's this uh, screen refresh rate like I don't know I think it helps though so I'll apply on that uh, if you do not have an integrated graphics card and you bought one like um, ADI or uh, NVIDIA you go to the your graphics card control panel and adjust image settings with preview yours might be at let the 3D application decide and it should be on quality but um, if you want performance and not appearance then you should put that on performance because it helps a lot it, it definitely does so you press apply on that continue and you go to um, hold on okay uh, after you've done that stuff you go to texture filtering quality and put it on high performance it should be on quality but you need to um, take it down to high performance if you want, like, you know, for better performance. That's why you went to this video anyway. Um, if if you play RPGs and stuff like World of Warcraft uh, games related to that, instead of playing like first-person shooters like Combat Arms, um, uh, what you have to do is uh, go to a run, reget it, R E G E D I D. Go to H key local machine, system, current control set, services, and then you press T until you get to T C P I P, and then you um, parameters, interfaces. Hold on. And then there's there should be like a bunch of these uh folders in here. You go to the one with the most amount of files in it and it has your your uh um, your IP and you type in TCP act frequency and TCP no delay for D word. When you do for D word you right click new D word 32 bit value. Um, but I don't think that. Um, like capitalization has to be perfect on this, so I'll put it on the description to show you. Then you go to modify, put it for hexadecimal, put a one, and then for TCP no delay, you put one for hexadecimal also. Um, that is basically it for this uh, tutorial. Um, any questions you have? Uh, please, um, ask, uh, subscribe.
subscribe, comment, rate, do anything. Um, and I'll be making more videos in the future. So, yeah, good thing to subscribe. Um, so I'll see you later.